My name is Helena Ahern and I'm Head of the Counselling and Personal Development Service here in Dublin City University. Right. We provide obviously a counselling service and we have a step care model of service delivery. And I suppose specifically we have a programme called the Student Empowerment and Life Skills Programme as part of that model. So the general aim of the programme is to build, expand and enhance students' personal effectiveness skills. So one of the main areas that the programme addresses is unhelpful thinking patterns. And we learn how to identify the characteristics of those kind of lines of thinking. And then thirdly, how to best address those when they arise. Another area is to how to map our inner psychological world and to negotiate areas in our lives that sometimes we might find fearful or anxiety provoking or challenging in some way. And while it would be very understandable for a student to kind of wanting to take two steps back, in this programme, we learn how to resource a student to take those courageous steps forward and into and over those kind of areas. Why would we do that? Because when a student does that, their self-esteem develops, but they also learn an awful lot more, which is like what we're about. So the third area we uh, study would be the whole area of language of our emotions and also to understand when we have emotions such as anger it's understandable that the behavior behind that might be to attack mightn't be the wisest thing to do so we have a number of different categories of emotions and we learn the emotional urge behind each one and then to make an assessment when are they useful and when are they not useful and then we also balance that with a person's reasonable mind or rational mind, another person might call it, and then how to relate that to the wise mind. And therefore, when we have better maps like that, our inner world doesn't seem so confusing or a bit of a fog. We get very clear instructions, okay, this goes this way and this is another piece of information, and then we can put it together to make better choices. So we do know when our stress increases, cortisol and adrenaline start to move around inside in our body. And that's helpful to a point because we need that kind of physiological uh, motivation in order to perform well. The problem is when it shoots outside a window of tolerance, then we become overwhelmed. Or, if the stress level doesn't come up to a certain level, we underperform. Or we can, oh, I don't want to do something. Not so great either. So this whole section looks at all of that and see how and what kind of things we can put in place to help bring up the stress level if we're underperforming which is a kind of probably a strange way of thinking about it when you think about it, and how to bring down your stress levels when it's too much, and also how to widen that window of tolerance in between so that a person can actually perform well and have a little bit of you know, fluidity and happiness while they're actually working, sometimes quite hard. So the fifth area is to look at the whole area of relationships and interpersonal skills. We learn how to distinguish when a relationship is somewhat unhealthy and when relationships are healthy and what constitutes unhealthy issues in a relationship and what we can do about it once we identify it. And then also how to you know, assert our needs and wants in a relationship. And the third piece in this uh, category is the whole area of rank and privilege, power. Huge factor when it comes to relationships, especially, for example, in workplaces. So again, the whole idea is to increase our knowledge base and our skills based 
so that we're more, more effective psychologically.